means visiting any hawker center. And right now we're in the Chinatown Food Center. And basically this is like a huge food court full of stalls. And the main food that you need to try is Malaysian, Chinese, and Indian. We just had chicken with rice, sliced fish noodle, and a mango shake for about 10 Singaporean dollars. And that beats two people. So it's very inexpensive in comparison to visiting a local restaurant. Now we're here at the Maxwell Hawker Center with my friend Robert for another traveler. And Robert's going to tell us about this Hawker Center and what you need to try. Well, this is one of the most diverse Hawker Centers in Singapore. We have a food called local cuisine as well as vegetarian and salad. So you can pretty much a array of different foods that we can try. So how do you reserve a table? Well, the most common way is just to use a tissue pack. Just put it on the table or the seat and every, all the local people know that someone's already sitting there. Alright, so Robert, what are the definite must tries? You definitely have to try the uh, chicken rice. It's one of the best in Singapore. Perry cake's really good. The braised beef is pretty good as well. We also have Thai food. Uh, add Thai to just fried noodles. Along with the napkins, don't forget to bring some cash on you because all the hawker stations don't take cash. We really like fresh food. So we always go to one of the juice stations and uh, always get some fresh, fresh juice. Okay, also, you can get a beer. Baru Hawker Center and I came here to try something called Chu Kuye which is basically rice cakes with uh, carrots on top. My friend Nelly from Wild Jungle told me these are the best in town so let's try them. So those are the three hawker centers that I recommend. Today, here we tried three different dishes and two desserts, and it came out to 10 Singaporean dollars, which is around eight US at the current exchange rate. So as you already know, hawker centers are very expensive to eat at. And the difference between a hawker center and a food court in a mall is the hawker centers don't have air conditioning. Now two tips that you have to know for hawker centers is if you don't know what to eat, look at the longest lines and that place should have great food. Or if you see locals eating something that you really want to try, ask them where they got it and they'll tell you the stalls because everybody here in Singapore is all about the food and they're very willing to help. So those are my hawker center tips. Hopefully next time you're in Singapore, you'll experience a hawker center for yourself. Yeah.